Welcome. This is Lance with Brando Consulting, your fishbowl inventory experts. Today we're going to take a look at user rights. User rights are found under the setup category. We'll click there and you'll notice we have two screens that apply to user rights. Fishbowl is set up similar to QuickBooks in this case. The rights are assigned to the user group or you could also call a user group a role. You'll hear me refer to it as that. And then the users are assigned one or multiple roles. So let's start out with the user group and take a look at the roles. On the left hand side you'll see a list of standard roles that Fishbowl assigns. I'm going to take a look at the accounting role. Double click on that and you'll see that available users are on the left, members on the right. Members are those who are assigned this role. I'm going to click on the rights tab to show you what rights this role has. And we see a list of all the screens Fishbowl has. If I click on expand all it will show me the breakdown of the rights available to assign on each screen. I've given the accountant view rights at minimum so the accountant can at least view all the screens and then anywhere I see an accountant related screen I give the accountant full rights. Most people, this is what I see most people doing, is they they start at the user screen. If we go here to user, they start at the user screen. They say, well, Chris is in accounting and he's in he's in receiving. He does this and that. Let's give him rights to those. But really, where we find out what the rights truly are is back on this screen. So. We'll go ahead and save that and I'll let you repeat this on the other screens. But then let's also take a look at the report rights. So these are the reports that this role is going to have access to. We just looked at the screens that the role will have access to. Now we want to see the reports that this role will have access to. And frankly, in my opinion, I think the accountant should have rights to view all the reports. Some of them may not be applicable to them, so uh, if if they are seeing too much, they don't want to see that too see that much. You can take reports away, but I just give the accountants rights to see all the reports. The receiving role may not be the type of role we want to have access to sensitive accounting information like the inventory evaluation summary report that shows everything that's in the warehouse and the value of each item and the total value of all your items in the warehouse usually the guy that's doing shipping and receiving doesn't necessarily need to know all that and, and that might not be true for your company but for most companies that that's the case so so there's the report rights and and the screen rights and the rights are are assigned to the role then back here on user the the role is assigned to the user so thanks for joining us today once again this is Lance at Brando Consulting we're your fishbowl inventory experts